What's up, Bax? Is it is it IG Live? What's up, IG Live? Oh no, it's just recording. <laughs> I'm DJ Ruff. Uh, no, whatever. Uh, it's uh, just some guy. It's uh, just a shtick. It's a name. How you doing? Show business is fake, man. What? <laughs> Thanks, Telepathic Birds, for coming on this janky radio show. No, but by the way, Dorian. What was your name again? Dorian. Sir? Dorian. Yes. I think that's uh, like wow. You got to listen to music like that when you were a youngster, and, the, and your parents knew him. Yeah, I think that's Terry Bazio on the drums. Uh, he collaborated with Frank Zappa a lot. Uh, very inspirational drummer, kind of renowned in the drum magazines and all the drum circles. So. And you know that I'm not, I'm listening to you even though I'm looking down at something. I don't yeah. I don't want to be like uh, it seem like I'm being in L L A or something. Yeah, I my my dad that. my dad was always a drummer. He had congas around the house. I remember when I was growing up, I'd watch him play. It was inspirational to want to learn to play the drums. If only my parents were musicians of some sort, then I might be some kind of very talented <coughs> artist right now. Oh yeah, blame it on your parents, why don't you? Hey, on that on that same token, there we uh, we happen to play. So Terry Bazio, oh, yeah. we happen to hang out with his ex-wife, his wife Dale Bazio from Missing Persons. <laughs> we had a, a great run-in encounter. We kind of we kind of set up shop in front of her show at the Great Northern. And waited till she came out and played for her and uh, played for her friends and yeah. had her dancing and got a signed autograph and big hugs and uh, it was awesome because uh, missing persons have been amazing for many many years yeah and, uh, and boy Dale was just as short and as cute as ever she <laughs> was uh, she was very gracious with her time and, uh, and we had a blast uh, setting up and playing for her. it was great this guy looks scary he's got this scary mask it looks like Slipknot Yes. We're going for the right, metal appeal. Yeah. And you're like, oh no, maybe he'll take that off. And then, but then when he takes it off, or it's like, the eyes oh no, wide shut party a mask. Viking's gonna kill me. A Viking's gonna kill me. What? Oh no, I'm gonna hide under the desk. We're so making a Kubrick uh, reference here. Oh, I don't know. I saw it once. Uh, Tom Cruise in that one lady. Oh, right. Eyes wide shut. I got yeah, one. Yeah, that open. one. Yeah. We're making a Kubrick reference. I was like, oh my god, that's gonna be me. I'm gonna be invited to one of these parties. Why does Kubrick do? Seinfeld. I don't know why that crept up. <laughs> The folks, the people that are with me here, the folks at home, uh, the people that are with me here, it's, it's the telepathic birds, and I'll play a song by them right now. Is that cool, guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you yeah go. sure, yeah. We're cool this, with that. That's what they sound like, okay? That's what they sounded like when they talked to me. Now, here's what they sound like when. All right. <laughs>
Wow, that's that's good stuff. That's right up my alley. That kind of music right there. That's. I was like, I was like, I heard a female's voice, I think, and I was like, that was Dave. That was Dave. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Beautiful. No, that was. Oh, another. Is this the same? I'll just let this play. Okay. It's it's the same group, but different song and good good music. Very good music on Radio Valencia. And vodka is good too. Vodka. I'm not drinking any. I'm just telling you. Vodka will always be there. Jay, we want to give a shout out to yeah. Jay Walking Underwood. Yeah, he's the man. He's at home listening right now. We we love him. He's been uh, a, a great supporter and uh, generous with his time and space. And oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he, adding some electronic tambourine to our mix. Um, and uh, being our spokesperson. Yeah, he's a he's a badass. And our host. And our host. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. He's a one-legged, ass-kicking badass. Jay, Jay Walking Underwood. Jay Walking Underwood. Woo! It was a tambourine. They brought some instruments in. Oh, and here, we'll play them. Oh, there he is. Cool. They're showing me a photo of their buddy yeah. that's listening right yeah, he, now. He lives in the garage. And he, he lives, in the, lives in the garage. Yeah. 
He does a really good job. <laughs> he does a really good job. Hey, we just, why did we just listen to Ace of Base, by the way? Because you wanted to hear. Cause oh, well, yeah, no, we, uh, we definitely do. Uh, we went out on the road last summer, and, uh, and we played uh, on the beaches, and we brought our own generator, and we, uh, and we just did it. We did the gorilla-style tour. And as part of our routine, we'd set up all of our amp and lug out all our gear and get our spot picked out and hope that we wouldn't get busted by the police. <laughs> but, uh, but then we'd set up and start playing. We'd always warm up the crowd with a little ace of bass and a bunch of other songs, uh, a few of which I think we're going to play for you tonight. We right. got, uh, yeah, it was kind of our routine. Uh, now they're showing me a photo of the, when they were playing on the beach. Yeah, brought our own generator and just sat up. Yeah, Jenna the what, Generator. What she, beach? Uh, Ocean Beach? No, uh, I'm just joking. We, we played Fort Funston. We played Stinson oh, Beach. Wow. We played uh, Carmel Beach. We played Monterey. We played Santa Barbara. We played San Ooh. Diego. Venice. We Yeah, we did the whole thing. Venice Beach. We got there like late at night. Thought hey. we were going to get jumped and shit, but we I still used, played. I used to live there, yeah. Uh, it was great. No, it was killer. <laughs> I, I still I see it on Grand Theft Auto. I'm all, that's right where we played. Uh, yeah, <laughs> There's yeah. our band. But uh, but yeah, it was awesome, a fun summer, and yeah, yeah we took it. Like, uh, homeless people were tipping us. Yeah, homeless <laughs> people were dancing. Our biggest fans. Uh, yeah, the homeless people. Homeless people were tipping you. Yeah, they demanded that we take their half cigarettes, money. half cigarette butt. Or no, they were giving you real money actually. Oh, the okay. actual money and dancing because we did it during lockdown, and so right. people were so grateful for live music. Wow. Yeah. The, oh, and, yeah. And the homeless people, they don't get to go to shows. They don't get to go to clubs. Right, right. So they would come out and straight up dance. And then once you get two people dancing, everybody else wants to dance. And so they were our biggest supporters, and we yeah. did. We we uh, gave them back some of our tips. You like sure they were homeless? Because sometimes I, a lot of people think I'm homeless. Uh, well, they, they, they might think be, I'm homeless. Uh, you know, a little rough around the edges. Right. But, uh, yeah, no, we had, uh, what, the Spider-Man from Santa Barbara. Yeah. He was hooking it up. Him and his lady were dancing. But uh, we got a nice collection of photos. If only um, yeah, I could show played, you all. We played in Santa Barbara right under here. We have a psychic and an astrologer, just because we have to live up to the telepathic bird's name. got to get him in And there. so um, I just want to say that this is, our, this is our psychic, Sal, and he told us that we needed to play. We were having trouble finding a spot to play to set up our gear because everyone was going to shut us down. So he said, play right here. This is underneath the peacock. You know, when and we, we got to the location our psychic told us. Yes. It was a giant peacock, a giant telepathic bird above yeah. the venue. Oh, they said that we, we needed to play like, here. Oh, man, that's just crazy. Yeah. And nice. this was one of our most successful nights because we played for like four hours. Yeah, we set up, we play for four hours. We do. We play yeah. until they shut us down, and they usually don't shut us down, so it's, we have a lot of fun. Yeah. Right. In uh, Carmel Beach, we met Doug, who is a, a writer, and he's also a singer, yeah, drummer. Yeah, musician, yeah, amazing dude. And he worked with Microsoft. And he just ended up putting us in a really fancy hotel well, that night. A hotel room. We got a hotel like, room for our show. Fancy ass That's hotel a, room. Music pays, yeah, Avalon people. Beach. Yeah. Music. Thank you, you, Doug. You're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we played at his private party uh, a few months ago. Right. It, it was a great uh, tour, though. It was our guerrilla yeah. style tour, we took and we had amazing, dinner. weird coincidences. All the crazy shit in life, yeah. like. Our hotel room numbers kept being consecutive oh, that was in so every funny. different town. It was like 115, 116, 117 in different towns. You I see mean, how this is? Crazy. Dale Basio, uh, she gave us. Oh, yeah. yeah They're showing me the photos. Sorry, They're showing me the photos, folks. <laughs> D Dorian would come rolling in hot like he'd have to come down from work. So he'd oh, drive right. six hours to show up to whatever right. beach we're at. And he'd come bouncing up on the beach in his big-ass four-wheel drive thing and unload yep. his gear and and, uh, and right away start playing. Yeah, it was fun. And we heard, yeah. ladies and gents, maybe yeah. you just turned on the internet radio thing. And then maybe you're listening and you're like, who's Mike talking to? I'm talking to the telepathic birds. We heard a couple of the songs just before this. One was called Sanctuary. Oh, that was a good song, too, by the way. And the other one was called um, Analog. Back to Analog. Back to Analog. Yeah, yeah. And you can talk about those tunes if you want. You don't have to. This is not an interview. Oh, I'm not, yeah, I don't want to be analog. Larry King. I don't, I don't want to be Larry. <laughs> but I secretly do want to be Larry King. Or Krusty. So, somebody's got to be Larry. <laughs> Yeah, but this is us at the Carmel Beach again. So tell me. Okay, that was at the and, Carmel uh, Beach. We just get inspiration, you know. It's like, why would we want to play at a, a smelly old bar where we have to get, like, you know, right. 10 people to come and everyone's paying, I'm like, 20 done bucks. with those places. Yeah. Smelly bars. So Dave was yeah. like, fuck that. We're going to take our Jenna 
our generator, Jenna, and we're going oh, to cute. go to the beach and we're going to go to the park. We're going to go behind church parking lots, which yeah, we did. We played churches. Per, we played, church parking uh, lots. When people like left, we would it. sneak in and like set up and like have we, a big we party. We took over our local stage in downtown <laughs> Concord and we played for another three Toto or four Sanders hours. Plaza. Had a great time. Yeah, it was great. I feel honored to have a band in here like you guys, a unique. You know what I mean? I feel... I uh, we try. We try. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Well, it's like, well, COVID shut everything down. So we're like, oh, shit. Like, what are we going to do? Like, quit our music? Like, m work at McDonald's or something? And we're like, Dave's like, no, let's get a Jenna. Let's get a generator. And we'll play our shows. We'll take the show with us On down the, the road. road. Yeah. And so we bypass the venue. So grateful to hear live music. Oh, yeah. We, we could have played uh, kazoos and they would have been embracing <laughs> us and dancing. Because people were pent up, man. They've been locked up. So oh yeah, I know. I was. It does. Uh, so yeah, it was. Uh, it was fun. And that song, "Back to Analog." Sometimes I think that was kind of the theme of what we were doing. We were getting back to you know our roots and back, back to, to the, exactly. back to yeah, get rid of all the digital bullshit and uh, yeah, and, you know, oh. play in the sand and watch so, the waves. And, yeah. So like that tune we heard, uh, it was play. What were the instruments involved there? You had um, um, back synth to analog. Yeah, a synth lot of synthesizers. Synth bass, vocals, drums. Wow. I mean, I'd say wow because, okay, no, because I was just like, it, the way that sounded, I mean, the way that, it, it's weird. It, sometimes like when you hear a certain group, you're like, that was an orchestra, right? And you're like, no, that wasn't an orchestra. It was just a man playing a 21 string guitar or whatever. Right, I mean, you know? right. Yeah, oh, just, um, we have an astrologer as well, um, uh, Mario, who, uh, what, how did he help us? Oh, he was reading everyone's like astrology charts to like 4 a.m. in the morning we, one we'd time. We travel and we bug our friends. We go to cousins' houses yeah. and friends' houses in Tahoe. But we'd bring an astrologer with us so they could do a reading for our friends. And so it's kind of you know a little <laughs> tit for tat. You know they would get something. Besides putting us up, they'd get their fortunes oh, told yeah. and, uh, and for the and, next five yeah, years discover oh, things about themselves. You know, are they going like to get married? Of fun. Are they uh, going to have yes. kids? Are they? Yes. You know? Yes. How many children? He's good. He could tell them exactly uh, how many children yeah. you're gonna have, and like what what you're gonna name them. He even knows what you're gonna name them before they do. Yeah. How'd good. you get involved with this, Neil? How'd you get involved with this, Neil? You knew these cats from. Oh, how did how did we we found Neil on the street? He was begging for money. He was playing accordion on the side. It was pouring down rain. You seen that weird guy? Nice. I knew it. I could tell. <laughs> I knew it was one of those kind of stories. One of those. He came back. He'd come up. You know, he'd come up from the street. And yeah. we, we actually we met him in the same park that he met Adam from Books on Fate. It's the musician's park where you just show up and mingle. Yeah. And we seen him across the field, just like he saw Adam. And we just, you know, oh, the is that rest that is park? history. That's that park that brought up that other uncomfortable story. Uh, Why yeah. does every one of those parks always have <laughs> like a bustling in the bushes going on? Uh, every, it, hey, it is. I swear there's a lot of parks and there's like a bushes bustling. Th there's and no then, bushes in Toto Santa's, though. A man comes out and he looks... He doesn't look, he looks like he's... Zipping up his fly. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. It's just, it's, there's no hiding in a closet at all. I'm just saying, anyway, 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 okay, I didn't mean to get off on a, a, a different topic or something like that. You got to reel me back in when I... But, well, yeah, we, no, I've, I've known Neil for about 30 years. Uh, <laughs> great musician. Uh, Neil's, Neil's a badass. And, uh, and we really didn't necessarily we weren't looking for something but he started bringing over his accordion for fun and it sounded amazing it worked really well uh, and we start yeah with all the keyboards that we got it really just filled out the sound and uh he's been with us playing the last five or six big shows that we've had and he's killing it when he's playing it and yeah it's it's great too i think none of us thought we'd be in an accordion band <laughs> or be in a band with accordion but here okay. we are a good story mormons yeah. like to no story though the one about washington square park when Fiona and I almost died, we almost died on the road. We could lead up to that because yeah. remember we met Frank Sinatra. We met Frank park? Sinatra. That's when we knew it was going south. Is when we met Frank. <laughs> uh -oh. We should have known then. Oh, you yeah. mean Frank was like? This guy comes up to us while me and Dave are playing. We have a bunch of people on the lawn, and this guy's like four foot six. He's like, "Don't you know who I am?" What? And we're like, "Who are you?" And like, "I'm Frank Sinatra." Okay. And we're like, he's like, you guys need to turn down. You guys are a little too loud. You guys are impinging on my square. Yeah, we were in Washington Square Park, and they do got a great Frank Sinatra impersonator oh, yeah. out there. Okay, yeah. And we were yeah. infringing upon his uh, Saturday Territory. night or Saturday afternoon. Yeah, he sings Frank Sinatra yes, covers. Yes, he, he gave us the old mob shakedown. What and the heck is this? 10%. What just happened? But 
he gave us the inspiration to actually play a show there because we would have uh, never yes. thought to do yeah. that. And I was like, oh, we should play here. We, we stole the, the original idea from him and, uh, and we didn't pay our dues. So he yeah. came over and made sure he got a little respect. Yeah. Thank you for playing that Cars, that song by uh, Gary Newman earlier, by the way. That was fun, an accordion and everything. Oh my God. Dorian over there on the percussion. Hey, I brought some instruments in too. And feel free to keep talking and all that. I'm just going to get some instruments, all right? Well, we almost died. So we, we almost died. We were yeah. at Washington Square Park. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't die too. You got it. But uh, but what, what did happen? So we had a great show, great time. Uh, we were getting ready to buy some, some gluten free vegan sugar free pizza. vegan uh, egg free pizza at Paxi's Pizza which is delicious <laughs> Shout by the out. way she'll take a large yeah. pizza if you want to sponsor us we're like gluten free vegan um, freaks so but, uh, we're so we're is it gluten free yes the gluten is free okay <laughs> it's, it's, oh, they actually charge you extra for that shit the bummer yeah it's capitalism for you right they charge you for yeah. something that's not there you can hand these to that brother in case he wants to play the maracas in case you want to... <laughs> but, but yeah, counting our money at the back of the car, ordering some pizza, and all of a sudden some crazy bitch slams Ooh. into the tree yeah. three feet behind us. Just slams into it. And we think, oh my God, that's an accident. We just barely Actually, escaped with our lives. And then instead of getting out of the car, the chick steps on the gas. And she's trying to mow down the damn street, trying to mow down the mailboxes. Yeah. Uh, backing up, slamming into other cars. She literally was four feet away from us. Uh, Fiona got pissed. Fiona was going to beat her ass. <laughs> but ultimately, everybody stood around and watched this chick destroy the street. And then finally, Fiona and I, like, I looked around for an adult. I'm like, where's the adult that's going to stop this? And I realized it was me. I was like, I'm the freaking adult here. And so we went up to her car. We actually removed her from the vehicle. Uh, we, you know, basically did our good deed, and uh, and she was wasted. The alignment on the she car was, was fucked. Like one of the wheels was turned in such a way she was in a constant skid, trying to drive off, and her. She couldn't, she couldn't drive away. So. Uh, yeah, she was trying to, you know, get away. And, yeah, yeah, it was a bummer. I mean, she was so out of it. Sometimes you got to do step in. We, we tried to cut her a break, but she was just destroying. Probably hit two or three other cars. Totaled her car. Uh, it was crazy. Well, we thought she was like angry at her boyfriend or something. She was trying to get revenge. Yeah, she was trying to mow people down on the street. But it all started, though. <laughs> me and Fiona just standing there, happy as could be. And all of a sudden, this car practically slams into us. Would have cut us in half. Oh, yeah. And so we did. I think we shit our pants, and we changed our lives it from did. that moment. Uh, we were grateful to, yeah, still be walking around. Yeah. And the police finally came and were like, you want to do a citizen's Speak into there. What did they oh, yeah. say? I said, um... The police finally came because I was like screaming, "Call the police!" Fiona said, "Cuff that bitch!" Cuff yeah, her. I know. I was Let like so her. pissed I off. I was like, "This is like we could have like we should have lost our legs that night." But um, yeah, here's a picture of of um, the aftermath. Let me see the. the uh, oh my gosh, yeah. the aftermath. We got it on video. Well, we didn't get the initial when she jumped yeah. in, but I was like immediately like got my camera out. But you know, you're drunk and you and crash your car. This is her. You're supposed to stop your and car like, and get out and see what Dave you did. Was she was trying, trying to, like, to run. Oh, you're going to park my car for me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was trying to get out of it, and trying like, to, no, you to ask to us to get cover out of your for car her. Right We're now. like, you almost killed us. We're going <laughs> to push it down and wait for the cops to get in. Yeah. Good, yeah. Times. Good times in San Francisco, much like tonight. We stayed there. Yeah, yeah. We, we, oh, we Hopefully, did. though, we, we, yeah, we have paid the piper now. Yeah, we didn't mention we played at um, San Jose uh, at uh, Evanescence, outside of Evanescence, that concert. Oh, uh, yep. yep. We played outside of Evanescence, and the cops came over and tipped us. They're like, thank you for playing music. We have to be here for six hours. Yeah, they, we thought they were going to shut us down. Instead, they came over and gave us 50 bucks and said, uh, keep yeah. it up. So, really cool. so this was outside, right outside. This is the shark tank is like to the here. So... Yeah, we just played for, and then when the people came out, they started, you know, dancing and singing. And um, we don't know if you're a big Evanescence fan, but uh, we figured if you're an Evanescence fan, you might tolerate us. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if I know them. Uh, I'm sure I have. That you don't. It's better that you don't. Oh, should I not play them right it, now? It seems like you have better taste than that, but yeah, they're all right. They're what? radio rock. It's they're radio. Like yeah. a Lincoln Park with a female singer. Yeah. Right, That's exactly right. What it is. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that's that's fine. That's good. I didn't mean to go. I'll give him a chance. I'll give him a shot. Let me listen. Should I play him right now? Ever, ever, Evanescence. Oh, no. Am I gonna like it or? Are they like? Are they like? Do they sound? I will play a snippet of them. Do they sound like Creed? I'm yeah. Just joking around. Yeah. No, they oh, don't. Real close to Creed. I mean, they were good in their day, but you know things. We. Oh yes, I know them. Of course, I know these. We don't have to play this because we've heard this song a lot. Yeah, we don't have to. But hey, we figured, you know. Well, we got a story about the Hard Rock Cafe because Dave's like, oh, I've always wanted to play at the Hard Rock Cafe. And so we start setting up and we're about to go inside to ask them to turn down the music because they have this music playing out in the back. And our astrologer is like, oh, don't worry, I got it all taken care of. And we're like, oh yeah, okay, energetically, you like set the energy and tension and you know, did all the energy work so that it would be easy. He's like, no, 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 I already talked to the people. They're gonna turn, down the, turn off the music when you guys are playing. I'm like, whoa. So, so we got a big green light to play yeah. in front of the Hard Rock down on Halloween in on Halloween. S- South Lake Tahoe. All the drunk. And Great people! It. People were rocking out oh, yeah. in bunny costumes. They said, "Do you want a slow?" Or we said, "Do you want a slow song or a fast song?" They all said, "And or so." No way! I don't forget what we said. <laughs> we, either way, we played a slow song, yeah. and the big bunny rabbit said, "Wrong choice. We're all on cocaine, man. <laughs> you should have played a fast song." And then they all left. But it was still. It was amazing. It was amazing. But one yeah. security guard didn't get oh. the message that we were allowed to play there. And he came out ready to rip out cords, ready to tase us. He was trying to tase Dorian and shit. <laughs> it was crazy. I mean, it was uh, he he was there to do his job. Yeah. And that is the only time we got shut down. Uh, was there another time? In Sacramento on the sidewalk. But we, oh yes, we did get bumped from a couple clubs in Sacramento and stuff. Right. But generally, people have been really uh, accepting and appreciative. And, and oh, that's we good. Fort Funston, the guy came at the very end. We were already wrapping up. He's like, "Oh, you guys need a permit." And we're like, "I'm yeah, running to the restroom. I'll be right back." Okay. Oh shit! We're Here's one of your tunes. Yeah, yeah. Who who likes orchestral moves? Orchestral moves in the dark. Oh, that's our buddy Neil who plays yeah. the accordion. Cool. This is Radio Valencia.fm. Should we do a shameless plug? Today. Um, Oh, yeah, I could do this way. Okay. Okay. You. So here's Fiona. Should, I, should we talk or no? We talk? Should we talk or no? Oh, no, we'll just let this play. Back this is this is a song of theirs. This is Telepathic Birds. I'm going to shut up now. Mi dai malattia e fai finte che non sia niente. Va per culo stronzo. Ario cazzo reale. Ario pezzo di merda. Arrivederci.
Birds, is it? Yeah. Yeah, some wonderful, wonderful things about her ex-boyfriend. You should really get the translation because it's pretty juicy. Yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah. Okay, so thanks for like, listening, yo. And uh, all the stuff. you know, I'm no technical audio man, so I couldn't tell you like how that sounded. But I think it sounded great. I mean, it sounded on this thing, and uh, to your listeners at home, I don't know if the <laughs> mic picked up. up. You just turn it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure it was fine. I'm sure it was fine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Anyway, that song sounded familiar. Why is it? It's probably a pop song. You were covering a you were covering a song, right? No, uh, no, that's an original. Yeah, Fiona oh, wrote all of these. Her and a good friend of hers wrote these quite a few years ago, and they all got how meanings. How dare got me! Some good, uh, like how that song is about me. someone uh, that they knew that did pass away uh, from, I guess, a drug overdose. How dare me say that that was some kind of cover? Co- coincidentally, that's our happiest band. song. God rest their soul. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're generally we're not. Like the well, same with Von Dick. They're like, it sounds happy, but it's actually really dark. Yeah, our other happy song is about another terrible encounter. But so, then yes. it's like happy. I think that's how we deal with our pain. Is that's our, yeah. Turn it into happiness. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. <laughs> how do you turn your pain into happiness? Me? Yeah. Well, uh, this show, for this ah, show, for instance, nice. this show is supposed to do that for me. Yet I come in here, I do a little show, then I go back and listen to it, and I cringe, and I go, and then I'm in pain, and then I'm in torture, then I'm like, oh god, <laughs> you gotta do show I can never tell. And yeah, I got to do another show so that no one, so a rerun doesn't play. <laughs> that's oh, just like god. being in a band, dude. That's oh, the okay. Exact same thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I, and I don't tell anybody to come listen. Thing is, is you probably actually the way you guys operate, you don't tell anyone to come in and listen it, either. No, hell no, and it's amazing because we go to the beaches where there's hundreds of people, and we love playing, you know, bars and clubs. But when you go to the beach where nobody knows you, the people that really approach you actually like what you're doing, and we see hundreds of people at the beach. Nice. And then like you, we we play a set, and then we're there all day. So then we just wait for ten minutes, and then play the set again. Yeah. So we get a chance to do the show over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> And it does. It gives us a good sense of completion at the end of it. Yeah, it's cool. Like built-in band practice. 
We've been having uh, some struggles with our next door neighbor. Cops, cops shook us down today. We had a cop uh, bust into our studio oh, yeah. today and tell us that everything was fine and that he's sorry that our neighbor is a total, a total Karen. And I mean, yeah. you know, I hate using the word, but Jesus, the oh. woman is uh, that she's defining it because you know she's got to put up with uh, band practice once every two weeks on a Saturday afternoon, and it just bends her all out of shape. <laughs> But yeah. so yeah, the cops came over and told us that everything was fine. We and were within to, the uh, noise ordinance, yeah. and uh, you know, I'd written her a really diplomatic, cordial letter, you know, saying let's really work this out. We really want to do this, and you know, she's like, I don't even want you to play there when I'm on vacation. Yeah, she's, she's got, she's a little bit of a butthole, but hopefully, but, uh, we're working it out. She also <laughs> complains about airplanes, uh, sounds of airplanes flying over her. So. She, she, she probably believes in chemtrails and shit like this that. This is up in uh, this is up where that garage is. This is Pleasant Hill. I believe in chemtrails. <laughs> I, I do too. I do too. You look at them; they're up there. They're spraying something up there, man. They're doing something. When I lived in Venice, I remember people used to complain about that. Old men near me, old all my old neighbors would be like, "They shouldn't be flying right now." There's a Santa Monica airport nearby, and he would right. be like, "Gosh damn these private planes." And I'm trying to garden. And he's drinking his wine, too. Yeah, anyway. Well, that's just anyway. Loud. Yeah, no, hey. Especially if you live somewhere nice, you do want your peace. Well, and, uh, she's trying to watch the news outside in her backyard while uh, drinking yeah. her yeah, cocktails. Little, she, we, we try to be reasonable. We try to be sweet. Oh, yeah. and, uh, and it just wasn't working with this lady. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, we've really tried to work with her and be reasonable. And she just, uh, you know... She was a firecracker last time. We're gonna, we're gonna make her a sandwich and and throw her a some, party uh, or something. Oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but hopefully though we're gonna be out on the road for the rest of the summer, so she's not oh. gonna have to hear us anymore. You you're planning to do that? We we are planning to do that, uh, and we've been playing venues a little more. Uh, May thirteenth, we're oh, playing yeah. with Books on Fate, oh, our good buddy Neil's Angeles. band here, Books on Fate. Uh, at the Integrity Tea Shop in Vallejo, where they have a nice, beautiful little collective out there. And uh, and so May 13th, it's Friday the 13th, we're playing with Books on Fate. And it's a, it's a great little group. They got big blow up mushrooms in front of the tea shop. Uh, oh, that's it's a great. collective of musicians. Lots of neon lights and lots of uh, pretty colors and great sounds. Uh, so it is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I'm not cutting yeah. you out. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm raising up the music. Oh. And I said, I'm not cutting you off like at the Oscars. Oh, By the way, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. By the way, the band that you Cut hear. My shit off. This is them in the background. I'm just playing Sanctuary um, Remix. Oh, right. nice. I was like, nice. what song is this? It's yeah. like the, you know. <laughs> okay. But uh, but yeah, well, yeah, we might as well tell you all the damn shows. But, well, actually, some of our stuff is a little still up in the air. But we do, uh, we're also playing May 21st out in Guerneville at the Bullpen. Uh, and that is a hell of a fun little town and our drummer lives up there and so hopefully once again with Books on Fate our touring buddies uh, we're going to be up there in Guerneville May 21st at and, the bullpen and Books on Fate were here a couple weeks three weeks ago or so I think maybe oh, a yeah. month yeah yeah, yeah. You got it. That, and, that's how we heard about you oh cool yeah and I I, I was really high on that in that show I was <laughs> hey, we, we can get you there again if you want <laughs> Culture Fest is a show that was on before this one. It's, they come on Tuesday nights. Culture Fest is a good show, too. Anyway, they like their herbage on that show. Oh, uh, right on. And that guy had one out there. It was like, this is the circ... Or what is it? No, you know what I mean. Oh, uh, yeah, right. This was like... It was like I was blowing a a large... Yes, it was no, it wasn't like I was blowing. Didn't want to go. Yeah. Stop it! It was not like a, you said, I don't know why. Oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I come in here and I couldn't even. Neil's like, play a song, and I couldn't play one damn song. I was, couldn't you just push that play. Coors Light song, huh? You got that Coors Light song? Oh Cute yeah. Up. <laughs> you gotta play that. This is this is tropical. I mean, Tro <laughs> I almost tropical said, birds. <laughs> Therapeutic this birds, is tropical psychotic birds, psychotic this is birds, telepathic birds. Sorry. <laughs> Doesn't she have a lovely? And here she's right here in person. This is the band. They're right here in person. Dorian's on the sleep on the couch. Yeah. Uh, he's the drummer. And uh, I, lo I love you guys. This is great. Listen to this. Shout out to Travis 
Edwards, our mixer engineer. Mixing oh, engineer. Shout out to Travis. Edwards.